when we talk about understanding the meaning of the equal sign, we're talking about the amount on this side is the same as this side. So students can write four equals four. That is a true equation. So we wanna continue with this, is this equation true? Turn this into equation, is this true? So if I have a one, an eight, and a nine, is there a way I could make a sentence that's true? One plus eight does equal nine. What about nine equals one plus eight? Let's write that, nine equals one plus eight. And students may say, that's not right because this is on the left side, because they're so used to seeing equations, one plus eight equals nine, written from left to right. And this is often looked at as wrong in students' eyes until they really have this understanding of what the equal sign means, that this is the same as. Nine is the same as one plus eight, and one plus eight is the same as nine. Could also prove it with, you have nine on this side, is the same as the sum of these two, eight and one is nine, and nine equals nine just like this. So I would practice this whole class. This is a great number talk, or just a great talk about digits. So we have a seven, a three, and a six. Can we make a true equation out of this? Well, I know that three plus six equals nine. Mm, so that won't work because that's a seven. So this is a great opportunity to talk about equations that do not work. So three plus six does not equal seven. And we can ask students to prove that because three plus six is nine and nine does not equal seven. And here we get to practice about inequality, setting students up for success with algebra in a way that makes sense to them. Enjoy.